Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? Episode number 57. We're going to patch today, boys and girls. We're going to patch from scratch. So I'm going to click on the patch option. And this brings us to the um, panel view. And we'll have the side pane open as well. Uh, Let's just close that for now and see if we can um, just kind of build things out without having to use that. We may need it. Who knows? But I'm going to just start searching for things and uh, also not worry too much about the structure view. I'm going to try to patch everything up from the front panel here. So I'm going to hit the enter key and I'm going to start searching for some stuff. I know for a fact that I want a mixer. That's the quad mixer. So let's add that guy in here. And let's go ahead and move these guys to that lane as well. And then let's see what we got here. Uh, We'll go ahead and actually swap those out. We'll put the node in up here. Yeah, that works. All right. Okay. And then um, let's go ahead and add a oscillator. Um, so we're just going to work with uh, reactor blocks primes for today, and we can always um, look at the uh, toy box free pack and floor shakers, which I have, and the Euro React stuff as well. But for today, we're just going to do blocks primes. So I'm going to go ahead and add uh, two oscillators that I know for a fact I'm going to use. And that's going to be the Monarch and the West Coast. And for the Monarch, I'm going to use a Monarch filter. And for the West Coast, I'm going to use a West Coast filter. So we'll just set that up. Um, So let's add this oscillator. And then let's add the the West Coast. In fact, let's just type in West Coast, see what comes up. There we go. So here's the oscillator. So that means I can search by the family as well. I mean, if that's in the name, then I can uh, I can go ahead and add that here as well. So cool. Um, let's go ahead and uh, one thing I know I can do in the structure view still is I can rename these things. So let's go ahead and just say this is... Monarch 1, and this is West Coast DWG 2. So uh, go ahead and hide the structure view again there. And then I'm going, I know for a fact, I'm going to add the, um, the corresponding filters. So let's go ahead and add those filters in here as well. And what we have are the uh, Blocks Primes filters we're going to work with. So I know I'm going to add the uh, West Coast uh, LPG, uh, Low Pass Gate, and also the um, Monarch filter as well. So let's find that guy. Here we go. And so pretty straightforward. We're just going to patch that right in and um, start seeing what we got. 
And then um, I'm gonna I, I know I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, the pitch for controlling the oscillators for now. So let's go ahead and set that for the uh, carrier. And we'll let um, the mod, I'm actually just going to, I'm not going to key track the mod at all. Uh, but I'm definitely going to key track the carrier and I'm going to let the node in here uh, do that. So let's go that route. And then what else we got? Let's go ahead and just patch this in un until we know better uh, what we're going to do. We'll just patch this into the mixer. So I have the quad mixer here because I eventually I may want to set up, <clears throat> um, you know, I may want to set up some, uh, you know, some other oscillators, but, you know, we'll see, see what we want to do. So it looks like we definitely have sound. And we should be able to hear that if we come straight out of the mixer and go straight into but we'll um we'll go ahead and leave that for now, and um we know we have sound, so that's good uh, so what? I'm going to do is go ahead and remove these and let's go ahead and get some envelopes set up. So I'm actually going to try to use uh, the modulation of the low pass gate since this is not only a f kind of a filtering quality but also a gate. I'm going to try to just use this for the envelope on this channel but for this I'm going to go ahead and set up an envelope. So um, let's go ahead and pull in the Bento box family. Maybe it's all one word. Maybe just Bento. There we go. Um, and then we'll pull in the BCA as well as the uh, ADSR envelope. So we'll patch this in. And let the envelope here control the amplitude of, or the, you know, the volume of this amp, and we'll go ahead and patch the gate in from the note in. So for now, this is going to be how we run it. And it looks like we have that working. I see the modulation working there. So now all we would need to do is just patch this filter and now we should have sound on that channel and now we should be able to just patch this guy right into the mixer and looks like we have uh, envelope response there on the mixer let's uh, let's go ahead and patch this in to the uh, stereo outs <laughs> Looks like we got some juice. Okay. So now let's go back out of here and into the second guy there. And then we're going to actually use the gate of this and just try to modulate the gate or the amplitude, the level here based on that. So it looks like that's happening there as well. Uh, so if I mute this channel and we're only hearing, we're only hearing that, um, I'm not getting a good pitch signal. Is this? Maybe, maybe we'll just play with it and see what we can get. Maybe I'm not setting it up right. That's a possibility as well.
Just sounds like a little drum sound right now. We're going out. Ah, we're going out. We're not going out of the carrier. That's my problem. I'm going out of the mod, so I'm only hearing the mod. I'm only hearing this channel. So I need to be hearing the carrier, which is actually the the notes. Yeah, so I'm, I'm uh, going into the pitch of the carrier. This is this red channel. I need to be going out of the carrier. So that's my problem. I actually have it hooked up correctly, so the gate is controlling the modulation of the, uh, and it looks like I can just, is that what I can do? I can just click on the wire and make it go away. That's pretty cool. Like just a quick tap, it seems to be what it does. I'm trying to see if that happens anywhere on the wire. No, it looks like it's just that, like right there on the port. So, okay, interesting. That's good to know, just like, Maybe right there. Yep, that's what that does. Okay, cool. Quick way to delete the wire. Easy peasy. Into, I guess, the maybe the destination. Because you can't do that at the input side. Nope. But at the out, like, you know, if you're clicking on where the destination is or where the output is, that's what seems to be the shortcut. So that's a good shortcut to know of because otherwise you're right-clicking on the wire very precise aim and going delete wire cover you know color whatever you want to do um and what what were the standard colors by the way you can look that up and maybe do some color coding here as well that'd probably be a good idea um but <clears throat> in general um we have some freaking sound Let the mod wheel modulate the filters. So let's turn on the B modulation. So let the mod wheel modulate the FM of the mod, it looks like. Is that what that is? I believe. Um. No, I don't think that's... Nope. That's not what, it, that's not what we want to do. What we want to do is just um, go into... Yeah, we just want to modulate like um, the A input, and then we'll just uh, do this to adjust. So we'll set it to zero, maybe kind of halfway. It's already sounding really cool, so. sounding so um also want to build in some effects like an effects rack and i'll probably do that in between uh the mixer here and the stereo out um so we'll get that going maybe on like a fourth row here um but yeah this will be be a pretty nice little beast starting out and then maybe we'll save this and keep this going for some of the next ones uh to kind of keep building onto it open up some of the toy box stuff and the your react stuff and 
This will be good. This will be really good. I'd like to take this second and just <clears throat> call out the guys at Native Instruments. They're freaking badasses, and just the fact that I can do this right now is so incredibly creative and inspiring and just uh it's really really cool really really cool and uh, i'm gonna open up their open up their site real quick and look up like the default see if i can maybe google the default colors or just look up the default colors uh uh Reactor 6.3 blocks. This has enough keywords to get right to it. Um, nope. Let's just go to the source. So native dash instruments.com, people. And we're going to load up the actor. And check out their blocks configurations. I mean, really, this is up to anyone. I don't think the color really matters. But I wanted to get what their idea was. And let's see. Yeah, that's all stuff we're pretty familiar with. So this is Blocks Primes. This is all the new stuff, the front panel patching. And just want to, I know I saw some information somewhere that's like, you know, here we go. You heard it here first. Use color-coded cables to trace signal through your rig and the included preset racks. Audio is purple. Pitch is red. Gate is turquoise. And modulation is blue. So, um... Maybe we'll just go with that just to be consistent. Maybe if we want to change it later, we can, but um, I'm okay with that for now. Audio is my favorite color, purple. And pitch is red. Gate is turquoise and modulation. <clears throat> is blue, easy enough. And um, we'll just keep this up for reference, really, but um, yeah, I mean, so audio being purple, that would be uh, this. So you can start to kind of have a visual reference of what these, what these are by Yeah, so it's um I wonder I wonder if we can make these colors do this by default. Maybe I can look this up too. But um you get the idea. You know, if you wanted to color these yourselves, you can. You can obviously make them any color you want. <clears throat> um but pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff.
pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. So let's add a driver to this. Let's see what the motherfucking deal is. Um, and let's also go with a rounds reverb as well. <clears throat> And we'll just mix these in. Um, we'll go with, you know, instead of um, out of the quad and into the uh... oh, nice! It seems to be matching my purple color codes here. That's pretty cool. So, all right, um, and then, uh, yeah, out of the, so in, in, out of the quad into the driver, out of the driver into the rounds, out of the rounds and into the stereo out. So I'm just gonna play around. was modulation gate is turquoise <clears throat> modulation is blue um we'll see we'll see if it's blue uh modulation well, right now it's making that purple let's go with and uh <laughs> teal maybe it's teal no oh, that's let's make that blue again can't really tell much of a difference between blue and teal but that's fine um but we're going to modulate the mixer <laughs> that happens on that mod wheel and it's pretty damn cool gotta say pretty damn cool um that's gonna be a blue and yeah just for reference purposes um and then uh what else we got <laughs>
Until next time.